What's up guys? Welcome back to another review. Today I have with you Saucony's latest super shoe, the Endorphin Elite. A shoe that could potentially dethrone Nike's Alpha Fly as the fastest marathon shoe in the market. Will this be the case? Let's find out. Before starting my review, I want to go to some disclosures. I purchased this person's shoes myself, nobody's paying me to make this video, and it's a completely unbiased review. Okay, with that out of the way, let's talk about the Endorphin Elite. So let me start by saying that when Saucony was designing this shoe, they were thinking about the elites of the elites. The fastest runners in the world, those who can run on their 5 minute mile pace for 26.2 miles. When you see this shoe, it just speaks speed, it speaks Elite, it, 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 it's almost like it comes from a space, out of space. It is very, it comes with a very light green that either you love it or hate it. Me, I'm still trying to figure out, you know, whether I like it or not. I guess it has grown on me, but it looks cool and it's extremely breathable. It has cut out all over the upper, very light, uh, breathable mesh, extremely light. For my size 10, I think it's like seven and a half pounds. Uh, seven and a half ounces, very, very, very light, but outrageously expensive. Let me repeat that outrageously expensive. It costs 275 bucks, which puts it at the very top of the running shoe prices. When this shoe first came out, I wasn't planning to buy it at all just because of the price and the shape. And I said, Hey, I'm a middle of the back runner at best, so why would I spend so much money on this one? Well, uh, full disclosure, I did not pay full price for this one. I paid $175, and that is thanks to a sale I found on Socrates Amazon's shop or Socrates Amazon store. And that is a shout out to the subreddit Running Shoe Geeks. They posted a link a few weeks ago how Amazon had the, this one on sale, or I guess the Socrates store on Amazon had this on sale, and they were gone within a couple of hours. All sizes were gone, and I couldn't miss a chance to just buy one of these, review it for you guys, and see if you as an average runner like me, you know, can benefit, or it's a good idea, a good option to buy one, you know, this shoe. Hey, I'll encourage you to join that subreddit, uh, Running Shoe Geeks, I'll put a link down below in the, in the description. They're not sponsoring this review at all, but they are an amazing community. They are great, they're awesome, I love, you know, be part of their group because we just chat about running shoes. A fair warning, if you join that group, you could potentially lose all your money. How? Well, they post links every time of shoe, running shoes going on sale from different websites, whether it's Adidas or, or Amazon, eBay, Asics, Runners Warehouse, doesn't matter. And in any, any brand, any running shoe that is on sale, you're gonna see it there. And whenever you see that link, whenever you see that post, you're gonna be itching to buy one. It's like, well, one more running shoe. Oh, one more running shoe. And I've been thinking about leaving that group just because, hey, uh, I need to save some money. But uh, all jokes aside, it is a very good uh, a community and you're not gonna regret. Okay, let's check the upper. The upper is made out of these very breathable, uh, mesh incredibly breathable in fact you have a bunch of cutouts for two reasons one to reduce weight and second to make it breathable if you see on the sides of the shoe you see cutouts and you also see cutouts on the, on the tongue as well so surprisingly the upper is comfortable even though it looks kind of strange it's nothing that I've ever seen before even with the, with super shoes like the 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 Meta Sky Speed Plus or the Alpha Fly, Vapor Fly, Adios Pro, all of those shoes uppers are way different. Even the, the Endorphin Pro 3 are different from this one. This is just how they design it. Uh, again, uh, it's kind of strange, but it seems like it works. And you have this strap that goes all the way through the uh, midsole to the bottom so you can secure that the upper is going to stay in place. It has this breathable mesh over here by the forefoot that it doesn't look 
uh, it doesn't feel like fabric type it's more like a plastic type of thing so that is a concern that i might have for longer distances let's say a half marathon or even a or 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 a full marathon that you that you can rub your skin and scratch your skin to a point that uh, that it might you know you might be bleeding who knows it just it feels very strange i wish that this was like a softer material and not like so plasticish but hey uh it is what it is another thing i found strange and weird and interesting about this shoe was the heel lockdown it does have a decent heel lockdown however uh, um there's some there are there are some concerns it's just the way that it's built it has this padding which is sort of comparable new to me i've never seen anything like this before near the achilles but it's kind of loose and you have this tag that, keep, that should keep it in place. How will they feel? How will this feel after 20 miles, 25 miles? I don't know, I haven't tested, I mean, I haven't run that far and that long yet, but it's definitely a concern. So perhaps it's okay, but me as a runner, I'm not fully confident about this one. Going to the midsole. The midsole is made of Sucker Spar Bomb HG, which is different from the power run PB that we could see in the Endorphin Pro 3 and the Speed 3. This one is firmer than the ones we can find the Pro 3 and, and, and the Speed 3. You know, you don't feel that the, the, the plush and the bounciness when you're running like on the those two other models. So these are more for speed, more for like for faster paces for sure. And it comes with a 39.5 millimeter stack at the heel, the same as the Pro 3, just under the race legal limit, that is 40 millimeters. And it comes with a 31.5 millimeter stack at the forefoot, giving you that 8 millimeter drop. That is the sweet spot for super shoes. According to Saucony, the midsole, the Paramount HG foam plus this lighter plate, gives up to 95% energy, energy return to runners. If that's the case, and that's what they're claiming, amazing fit, right? That you can just give that much back to the runner will make runners feel faster, will make runners feel fresher, and will make runners reach new heights and new PRs. Now, going to the outsole. The outsole has the XT900 rubber that is designed to give you or to provide you a better traction without sacrificing durability. It is a, it's the same rubber that we can find in the uh, Pro 3, but it has a different pattern. This one feels grippier. This one feels that you have a better traction, a better grip when you're running on uh, wet pavements. I just wish the Saucony would have included another strip of rubber on this side of the shoe. Again, I, I know what they did. They, they're they just trying to reduce weight and make it as light as possible, even though it's not as light as the vapor fly. But that's what Saucony was trying to do. And as we can see, the tier of the midsole and, and outsole, it has had a very, very aggressive geometry. It has a aggressive rocker that I've never seen before. You can see it right from the get go. It is steep up to here. And that is supposed to propel you forward, give you that push, that toe off that will make you faster. Uh, overall, the shoe feels comfortable enough for the shortest distance I've tested out. I've done like a track workout and I run uh, and I ran on pavement as well. I did a track workout of uh, five miles and on pavement I ran uh, seven miles. So total of 12 miles, feels comfortable. It, 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 gets, it takes time to get used to it. I'm not gonna lie, it's just extremely aggressive. Okay, so how does it feel to run on the Endorphin Elite, especially when you're not a fast runner? And I don't know if this is mental, psychologically, but you feel faster, right? It's definitely part of the shoe, the geometry, the design, the very resilient and aggressive midsole, it, has, it offers you a great energy return. We see a lot of reviews for you know runners that are more into the elite side. I mean, they're not necessarily elite, but they can run a, f a marathon under three hours, which, hey, I wish I could just run that fast, but clearly I'm not there. So I just wanted to provide you the insights from an average runner, a non-elite, non-fast runner, and see whether it's even worth it or not. 
So the ride feels interesting. You can feel the 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 midsole is very resilient. It's firmer. Uh, it's not as cushioning as the one on the Pro 3. That could be that could be impactful. That could be a big thing if you're running 26.2 miles. So in, in my opinion, I didn't get to see or to experience the full potential of this shoe for a number of reasons. One of them, I'm not a fast runner and I cannot address that enough. I feel that when you can really take the full advantages of this shoe, it comes when you can push the pace, when you pick up the pace, when you can just go at a five minute, five and a half, maybe six minute mile pace, you can feel the true benefits. That is one of the reasons. The second one that I believe is just this shoe is designed for runners that are mid foot strikers to four foot strikers. That you can just feel that tough, you can feel that propulsion and then and you can get, you know, gain that momentum on your stride. I'm a heel striker, so it would have to be the entire shoe and I feel based on the geometry and the design of the shoe, it's not as beneficial. Yes, I can still feel faster than the Speed 3 and the Pro 3 by a, by a slim margin. I'll make a video comparing all these three shoes, the Speed 3, the Pro 3, and the Elite, but not enough to really feel, oh, by far, this is the fastest shoe in the market. This one should have cost like 250. At 275 is way too steep, way too expensive for the average runner to run this one. And and keep in mind, a lot of elite runners, whether you see the content creators that are very elite or the front of the pack runners, the, most likely they're getting the shoe for free. Somebody wants to give them their shoes so they can promote it and try them out. So is it worth for, for an average runner, probably like you and I, to buy this one? Probably not. But again, if you want, go for it. Hey, you'll be happy with the purchase. I hope you enjoyed this video and found this information useful. If so, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm uploading every week new content with reviews of uh, shoes and some other running gear. Also, I'll be sharing with you guys tips that have helped me through my running journey, like uh, nutrition tips or training program tips. And also, if you have any other questions in regards of any endorphin sh of the endorphin line, whether it's the Speed 3, the Pro 3, or the Lead, just feel free to just comment down below, ask me those questions. I'll be more than happy to answer those for you and to help you decide whether this one, the Endorphin Elite, is a good choice for you. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.